Very good morning to you. How are you watching good the morning. BOJ meeting this week? Yes, we are expecting that the BOJ to decide to reduce their government bond purchases, but uh, at the same time, they are probably uh, rather conservative of the rate hike at this timing. OK, and so how is this uh, GDP story uh, complicating the BOJ's job right now? Yeah, um, I think the uh, uh, Q1 GDP contraction per se is not a big issue for the BOJ because we had, a, as you may know, that the auto production shut down in uh, January, February, and that's plunged the uh, uh, auto sales, that's a durable good consumption, and the export of the uh, uh, goods, which uh, uh, auto export to the overseas. Therefore, I think the G BOJ basically ignored the uh, contraction of the uh, Q1 GDP itself. However, at the same time, uh, the, uh, the state of the economy is not strong enough. As you may know, that there we had a, a very strong wage uh, negotiation outcome for this spring, but the actual payment of the uh, salaries hasn't uh, observed yet. Therefore, we need to wait uh, at least a couple more months to see the wage growth acceleration and probably pick up the consumption. Therefore, BOJ is rather reluctant to raise the rate at this timing. But at the same time, they are having focusing on the uh, uh, malfunctioning of the bond market. That means that the BOJ wants to reduce the uh, intervention to the uh, uh, bond market, which is a uh, purchase of the bonds. Therefore, we think that the BOJ will decide to reduce their bond purchases this Friday, and also uh, mentioning that they are, uh, uh, they are still concerned on the state of the economy. Yeah, as you say, a sluggish private consumption continues to be a big headache for the BOJ. But there was some data out uh, on Friday suggesting that household spending uh, rose for the first time in about 14 months. Uh, is this enough in terms of this data point uh, to ease some of those concerns or do we need to see more in the months to come? Uh, we definitely need to see more uh, in the coming months. And because, as I mentioned, that the wage growth in the, uh, offshore statistics hasn't shown the uh, meaningful acceleration yet. And we haven't seen the uh, meaningful sign of the uh, consumer spending picking up uh, to maintain the uh, real GDP growth around 1%. I mean, I think the Japanese economy needs a 1% real GDP growth, 2% CPI inflation, 3% nominal wage growth, and the nominal GDP growth which probably hasn't been established yet. Therefore, uh, BOJ probably need more time to consider for the rate hike.